If you're looking at installing solar or battery in 2026, you might have noticed prices going up a bit. Here's why. G'day everyone, Dan and Matt here from GI Energy. Today we're talking about purchasing solar and or battery in 2026. If you have looked into solar and battery in the past and you're looking at it again in 2026, you might notice that the prices are probably a little bit more expensive than they were before. There is a government subsidy for solar and battery, and that plays a part. Um, technology costs, I guess, theoretically should be coming down, but mm -hmm. there are reasons why, if you've got a quote on the 31st of December to be installed on the 31st of December 2025, and now you're getting it revised, let's say January, whenever it is in 2026, yeah. it's gonna be a bit dearer. Um, so the key one there, the main one, is, uh, is rebates, yep. which get reduced each year. I might hand over to you there to explain why and, and how that happens. Yeah, sure. Obviously, the battery one's a little bit newer to a lot of people yep. that are coming into this. But if you've been in the industry or looking at solar for a little while, the panel STC rebate has been reducing now for what, nine or ten years. Yeah, um, it's so, been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. So next year, in 2026, it's deeming year five. And originally, there were 15 deeming years for the panels if you were installing solar in 2015. So a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system then would have achieved a subsidy of about five grand, whereas in 2026 it's about sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars, depending difference. on. It's massive. Yeah. And um, and in that time, the price of the panels has come down a lot. It obviously fell through the floor um, a couple of years ago and then plateaued out. Yeah. But as you were alluding to before, a lot of the reason for some of the prices going up has been material and labour costs, which like a, a number of industries has been pretty consistent anyway. So skilled labor, obviously a bit of a shortage as well, um, and a few other things in terms of material cost. So the battery one, as I mentioned, is obviously a little bit newer because this is the first year that it's decreased. And you're roughly losing about one STC per kilowatt hour of battery storage. So if you had a 10 kilowatt hour battery installed in 2025, you're looking roughly at about 38, $37 difference per kilowatt hour of battery for it being installed in 2026. So if it was a 10 kilowatt hour battery, 370 to $380 more because the subsidy has dropped off. Yeah. The total cost hasn't changed yes. of the system, but that subsidy portion that the government's providing has obviously reduced. So the out of pocket cost is that little bit higher. Yeah. Um, so with the panels, again, that's happened over time. That's been pretty normal and everyone's known about it, but this is the first year with that battery change. And I guess, well, the reason they've stepped it down with the panels and the battery is their perception is the technology cost, as you mentioned, has sort of reduced in line with that over time. So if there's a 10% reduction in the STCs, they're forecasting a 10% reduction in the technology, the, the shipping, all the other costs. But the, the difference really has that hasn't equaled that out over time has been labor and materials, Yeah, which I mean, you can probably speak about as well, if not better than I can, over over 15 years, is that how, how you've seen that change. Um, and yeah. sort of what we're seeing at the moment, I guess, is sort of, yeah, gone well over and above what, what's happened before, especially with the labor side. Definitely, I mean, everybody's been through the COVID period of that huge inflationary period. Yeah. Labor costs associated with solar installs weren't immune to that. So there was that natural increase. Um, you're right, the government have obviously stated that the rebate will reduce in line with technology cost reducing. That's not going to happen yeah. right now, <laughs> frankly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, if you can, if you even fast forward until the end of each year, I, I don't think we're going to see um, enough of a drop in the overall system cost installed yeah. to um, cover that rebate drop, even at the end of the year. Yeah. So I remember with panels, it used to be okay, 31st of December versus 1st of January. Yes, there's a big difference, but if you go 31st of December to 31st of December, it probably had leveled out yeah. not every year but yeah. there was a decline um, that's not going to happen with batteries anytime soon the demand is just too high yeah the demand for the raw products globally um, we're not just talking about lithium for home batteries we're talking about electric vehicles as well and all the other devices that have batteries and um, also big utility scale batteries mm. which are on a huge increase globally yeah so the cost of raw materials supply and demand just will dictate that it doesn't go down as quickly as it would do if the r d was just paying itself off and allowing it to go down naturally. So the raw cost is, is going nowhere. Um, and then it's not just the cost of the, the, the battery technology, which if you said over five years, probably will come down. Yeah. But it's getting it installed. 
Yeah. So now we've got um, bottlenecks getting stuff into the country because it nearly all comes from overseas. Yeah. Uh, increased costs along that whole supply chain. And then once it's here, you've got to get it installed. So all of your smaller components are increasing in cost. I mean, I could harp on about this for another 10 minutes, but ultimately what it means is the cost is not going to decrease at the same level of the rebate decreasing. And you mentioned there the STC per kilowatt hour and it seems quite minimal. When you're looking at an overall system and your uh, government subsidy for your solar panels and your battery has gone down, let's say we're doing a 13 kilowatt solar system with yeah. a 32 kilowatt hour battery, let's say, which is quite popular now, quite big compared to a couple of years ago, but now pretty common. Yeah. Um, what would the difference between 25, 26 roughly for, for that sort of size system? 13 of solar, 32 of battery? Yeah. 15, 1600 bucks. Okay. So. Yeah, pretty substantial. It is pretty <laughs> substantial. Yeah. I mean, when you think about that is money that could be in your pocket, obviously, and, and now it's not. Yeah. It's a big difference. And it just it's important here to note that it happens every year. I know we've said that before. Yeah. But for now, um, let's look at um, in 2025, we were probably filled up for December by late September, late October. Probably, I reckon before, early, before, early October. Early October, sorry. Yeah. So what happens there between we're filling up in October and then all the way through till sort of mid-November, early December, how many people want to get installed before yeah. Christmas? You have <laughs> yeah. to turn down so many people. <clears throat> yeah. And ultimately, they'll either go and find a different company who they might not really want to install it just to get that extra rebate. Yeah. Um, or if they don't do that, they wait until the next year. So the point is, if you're really comfortable that you want to install it, don't wait, yeah. it really, just get it done with a good company. Is that fair? Oh, yeah, spot on. I think before you could always sort of work out a way with the panel difference as well and people could work around that in, in some ways. But this time, like, yeah, you get to that end period of the year, it's busy without any subsidies. Yeah, Throw the is. subsidies in the mix and obviously you're pushing out to two, three, four months as a, as a turnaround time a lot of the time. Then you've got delays on the product availability, as well as you said, yeah. Um, but it's more the yeah the, with the installer bottleneck of, of quality labour, that's what pushes that out more. And um, that's when when you mentioned what that system size, that, that's probably the average size we do now. Yeah, it would be close to that, wouldn't it? And the, the same will be twenty six to twenty seven. It's another fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. And yeah, probably by then yeah. you might be talking about bigger solar and bigger batteries because each year that, that capacity tends to increase a little bit in terms of how you size systems as well. Yeah, well you can fit more on the roof typically each year because the efficiency of the panel yeah. increases a bit, meaning there's less roof area taken per watt installed. So yeah, you probably it probably will increase a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Um, which means that, as you said, that drop is, is, is deeper again. Yeah. Um, so that's why that's yeah. why it's going up. That's why um, I remember when the rebate was first came into effect for batteries mid 2025. A lot of people said to me, "Oh, this is just going to push the prices up. Yeah. People, are, um, installers are just going to go. Well, the rebate's worth 10 grand. I'm going to put my price up by five. Yeah. And we were obviously adamant that we would never do that. But some of our costs have genuinely gone up yeah. because of the rebate. Yeah. And and you can't help that. So we've maintained the same margin, but our prices have gone up a little bit because of the increased cost for certain things along that supply chain of being yeah. under stress um, and labor. So um, that, that's why your costs are going up because it's a supply and demand plus rebate being reduced. I think there's more things associated with the installation now as well, which obviously have, have been a safety thing. So you, if it's in the garage or carport, most likely you'd need bollards for the system. Yeah. Price of bollards is twice what it was six months ago. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> yeah. people are buying them by the, the hundred, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't get enough of them. Oh, yeah, well, no, exactly right. Um, you know what I mean? You might need cement sheeting depending on where it's installed, switchboard work that's now come in with, with a different Australian standard for anything that's on backup. Yep. So there's other costs that may not have even been known a year ago with the system. So there's all these different things that may be, may be needed there that obviously Labour can only, do, you can only do so much work per day as well. You might need an extra extra team member on site just to help it with the weight of the batteries. People are doing bigger systems than they were a year ago. So if an average battery a year ago was a 13 and a half kilowatt hour single battery, yeah. two, two people one day, there might be two of those on, on an average job now. Yeah. So you need three people for, for, for one day. So that labour cost has to come in and be factored in somewhere. Of course. So. 
many people that we talk about talk, talk to, sorry, that maybe five years ago I was looking at a battery and it was 10 grand at that point, it was a very small battery. The battery is now four times the size and it might be 20 grand after subsidies, but they, for some reason, think something's changed there. Mm. So many parts of that are in the material and the labor costs, not just in the, the technology costs or, or whatever else as well, I think is, is worth noting. Yeah, 100%. Because um, cause things, things do change from that side. If you built a house, probably cost twice as much to build a house now as it did pre-COVID. Yeah, it would. You know what I mean? And not because anyone's making more money. No. Just material and labor costs. Yeah, yeah, true. Like the last thing I'd say there is that even though the cost has increased a little bit, it's still very generous subsidies. Yeah. Here in Australia, obviously we've got great climate as well. So we've got close to perfect weather for solar and battery. We've got great subsidies. Yes, they've been reduced a bit, but they're still very valuable. Still paying for 30, 40% of certain parts of the system, depending on the rebate yeah. and what you're installing. So um, the payback period here in Australia uh, in 2026 is still very, very, very attractive compared to almost anywhere else in the world. Yeah. So um, yeah, as I think I said before, if you get yourself into a situation where you know that you want solar and battery and you've found a good company, just get it done before yeah. you leave it too late and then have to pay more. No, understood. Um, any questions, hit us up in the comments. We'll put some resource links in the description to the video. So if you are looking at solar and battery, there'll be a downloadable guide there that might be helpful. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you.